apparently we're in some sort of Halloween town now. We've got evil monsters, we've got some sort of jack-o'-lantern house. That's strange. Okay, and here's the, the grave digger. Oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. So going back takes us to the grave digger. Where does going left take us? Because going forward takes us to an evil monster that kills us. It's bad times. Whoa. You little fiend! Get out of here! Dr. Mort Cadaver. Ha! Now there's a name to inspire confidence. <laughs> Mort Cadaver. I get it. Because Mort is French for death. Mort Cadaver is English for dead body. That is a creepy name. Okay, let's talk to Dr. Mort. Dr. Mort, what's up? Yes? May I help you? Mm, hello? Uh, I am Rosella of Daventry. Uh, m may I ask you a few questions? Certainly, Miss Rosella. Do come in. Quickly, please. I just want to know how to get home from here. I don't want to live here in Ukabuga. I want to go back to Davenport. Even though, you know, when I was in Davenport, all I did was complain the whole time about how it was awful. Welcome to Ooga Booga, Miss Rosella. I am Dr. Mort Cadaver. Coroner, how may I help you? I'm seeking King Otark, ruler of the trolls. I've heard that he's been detained in this land. Have you heard anything about him? No, but I bet that wicked militia is behind it, since she caused the destruction of our beloved ruler, Count Tepish. This land has slipped into chaos. The boogeyman thinks he owns the place. And those horrid kids have run amok. I'm afraid to go outside anymore. If they're just kids, can't you do something to stop them? I'm just the town doctor. I spend a great deal of time replacing limbs, reattaching noses, you know. But I could hold my own against those kids. Until last week, that is, uh, when I gave my spine away to a charming lady who'd fallen off a cliff. It seems that without a backbone, I can't stand up to anyone. <sighs> oh well, uh, excuse me, my dear. I must fill out some death certificates now. I'm probably too nice of a person to boss him around. Okay, so yeah, I totally forgot we are find King Otar as well. That's, that's our secondary goal. Getting home? Not so important. Um, you know, finding the troll king? Super important. Oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, Mr. Nibbler here is in for an attitude adjustment. Hey, lady. Got any fava beans? Yeah, I think he needs an attitude adjustment. Okay. <laughs> That's mm, c quite a nice coffin. What do you use it for? Most of my patients like to nap here while they're waiting, my dear. To tell you the truth, I nap in it myself when business is slow. It's so comfortable. Leg of Lizard, 
I have newt, toxic toadstool powder, modisonium glutamate, yikes. So apparently I have a bunch of disgusting stuff. Dr. Cadaver, you really should have a spine. Can you get yours back? Oh, I couldn't. The patient must come first. But Miss Rosella, I'd do anything for another one. I tried a broomstick and some dried spaghetti, but it just wasn't the same. That's really we need to find this guy's spine. Dr. Cadaver, who exactly are these kids? Oh, just some dreadful urchins. I don't think they'll ever grow up, since they've been children for the past 130 years. The Count used to keep them in check, but since he's gone, they run wild. Doctor, what can you tell me about the Boogeyman? Stay away from him, young lady. He's always been evil. But with Malicia's encouragement, he's become downright vicious. Run whenever you see him. That's probably the green monster which attacked us. Uh, excuse me, my dear, but my nerves are shot. And I am at a very delicate point in this process. Okay, looks like we can't talk to him about anything else. Okay. Okay. Well, nice meeting you, Dr. Cadaver. Looks like we've got a puzzle fighting him a spine. I'm gonna lock his gates. Because I can. Help him. Okay, looks like we can go down and the left. I don't like that music. Ooh, I really don't like this. Is there anything to look at besides coffins and stuff? Not really. Let's look at all these. I mean, gravestones, gravestones, tombstones. The daredevil, Morgan Wegg, smoked his pipe on a gunpowder keg. They found his head on the bridge and his arm near the ridge, but no one could find his left leg. A strange poem. Hmm, no inscription. This one's blank. Whoa. Rosella, rest in peace. I can't believe I did that! My mother taught me to have better sense. I can't believe she fell for that. <laughs> Here lies Miss Marigold Gossam, who grew a carnivorous blossom. She fell into the weed and it ate her with greed one day when she tripped on a possum. Oh. That guy is bad news. Next time I'm not waiting to find out just how bad. There are a lot of death scenes in this uh, particular town. A mystic named Musafar White had a bed made of nails sharp and bright. He was taking a nap when into his lap jumped an elephant. Yuck, what a sight. That's terrible. He got stomped to death by an elephant. A monk known as Brother Bob Tweet gave up eating all grains and all meat. He next gave up fruit and veggies to boot, and he died a mere beanstalk with feet. Here's the body of Benjamin Crabby, who in life was incredibly grabby. Don't stand on his grave, for his corpse can't behave. Old Benji might pop up and nab ye. Oh my. This is kind of silly. The mad lady, Madeline Fair, grew convinced that she was a spring hare. On hands and on knees, she'd bounce through the trees till the day she ran into a bear. 
and I look at this grave without falling in? No! Oh my gosh! Why are you so terrible at this, Rosella? I can't believe I did that! Okay, so let's check out the uh, last two, and then let's leave. Here lies Miss Marigold Gossam, who grew a car... Let's get out of the sight of that guy. He's here and I don't know why. Count Cranky, a nasty old goat, slipped and got himself drowned in the moat. His family cheered, his squire disappeared, and even his dog seemed to gloat. should have done something. What on the earth? Oh jeez, it's that guy. <laughs> Maybe that's supposed to be the boogeyman. I think that might be the boogeyman, yeah. That, that person is just terrifying. Okay, so let me check if I go right, then we'll go back to Dr. Cadaver's house, right? Right, ma'am? Can I help you? No one can help me! <laughs> Yikes! I guess some people just like to be left alone. A paranoid fellow named Ed thought a monster lived under his bed. As he quailed in the dark, his dog gave a loud bark, and Ed leapt from the window in dread. The jumpy dame Celia Nats had a terrible fear of black cats. She saw one in the night, jumped ten feet in fright, and was carried away by large bats. Sorrowful Marjorie Pratt liked to wail on the cliffs with her cat. One night, such a pity, she tripped on her kitty and fell off the cliff with a splat. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Let's talk to the 
Here lies the corpse of Fats Woad. He ate till he bulged like a toad. One day he bought twenty stale pies for a penny. The twentieth made him explode. Good fellow,、uh, thank you again. I wonder. Hello. He's very slowly getting up. Measuring me. I'm not gonna die soon. At least I hope not. Okay, not. lady, I got your link. I can't start digging your grave until tomorrow, though. Sorry. That's、um, not what I wanted to talk to you about, sir. I don't need a grave just yet, thanks to you, sir. Could you tell me if this is the land of Ooga Booga? Yeah, this is Ooga Booga, all right. Pardon me for saying so. But isn't that shovel a little too small for the task at hand? You said it, lady. This is the wrong equipment for the job. Here, let me show you something. Ooh, what is it? This here is a fully automatic, steam-driven, rat-powered grave digging machine. I made it myself. Those rotten kids broke in and they stole me power source. They took my rat. Oh, well, rats. <sighs> Couldn't you just get another rat for your machine? Nah, Iggy was trained special. Besides, there ain't no other rat as strong as Iggy, or as smart neither. He must be a very special rodent. He is, lady. He is. Forgive me, lady. I don't mean to be rude or nothing, but I got to get some work done before I get even farther behind. Okay, well, it looks like that's it for um. Holy, 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 holy moly! That monster just keeps attacking me. That's it for this area. Oh, is this where the kids live? Perhaps. Oh yeah, if I climb this, I get attacked by a spider. Oh boy, I thought that looked like a spider web.